Hello and welcome to 1% Wednesday. I'm Joe Ferraro. Thank you so much for being on the journey. A brand new podcast every Sunday night and a 1% Wednesday note every Wednesday with an original video. Today, I want to talk about the language of improvement. When we talk about language, we're talking about communication and the words we choose. And when I think about that, I think about this. The words you choose, they stick with someone. And I want to tell you a quick story about how they stuck with me two decades later. I was a senior in college. We had just played a tough series against Youngstown State, Ohio. I was a Division I player, a little bit outmatched, and I went 0 for 18 on a series. We were about to drive 12 hours back to New York, and Coach was meeting us at the bottom of the stairs of the bus. And as we got down the steps, Fred would look at us, shake his head in disapproval, and mutter a few comments. Well, I'm 41 years old. 20 years ago, I was a college baseball player, and I still remember what Fred said to me that day. I got down the steps, and he said, Ferrara, with his Bronx accent, he said, Ferrara, you were like a little boy playing a man's game, like a little boy. And I walked three steps, and he goes, a little boy. I was 21 years old. I, I didn't feel great about that comment. Before the comment, I knew I was overmatched. I was playing Division I baseball against some pretty good teams, and I didn't have my best weekend. So as he said, little boy, for the third time, and I went to shower with my teammates, wasn't feeling really confident. And you may be hearing that and getting a chuckle, and I certainly do nowadays, but I've remembered it for two decades. And teachers, coaches, leaders, and parents, the words we choose stay with people for a long time. And I don't say that to put pressure on you. I say that to one, be mindful of the words we choose, the language we use, and two, if we make a mistake, if we say something ridiculous like Fred did that day, let's get ahead of it and apologize the next day or clarify the next day. Recently, I said something to a colleague that came out wrong. I'm not perfect. That day, I texted her and said, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry it came out that way. I don't wanna leave anything to chance. Now, Fred wasn't going to apologize, but you are because you're interested in getting better. You're self-reflective, and you're talking about getting 1% better when it comes to language. So choose your words carefully, because two decades from now, someone might be thinking about what you said, and as long as the intent behind it is okay, you're going to be fine. And when those rare times happen where you get it wrong, be proactive and apologize. That's called getting 1% better when it comes to language. That's all I got today on 1% Wednesday. Thank you for being on the journey with a brand new podcast every Sunday and a short note and an original video every Wednesday.